Mr. Irminga from the Human Rights House Foundation. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. In July 2009, a young human rights defender from Azerbaijan, Razul Jafarov, came to this building to see the review of his country in this committee. He then became, in a few years, one of the leaders of human rights movement in his country. Just like so many others, in his country he was then arrested and spent almost two years in prison until recently. Authorities continue to arbitrarily detain, detain civil society actors, as documented recently by the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention following its visit to Azerbaijan. In 2009, this committee highlighted the arbitrary use of criminal charges to detain journalists and activists, as well as legislation on defamation. Instead of revising its practice since 2009, legislation affecting civil society has been adopted to construct an environment in which civil society actors are at the mercy of the authorities, with mechanisms restricting registration of NGOs and access to funding. In 2009, this committee was worried about the practice of detention of journalists on charges of hooliganism. The situation now evolved in holding human rights defenders and journalists with organization-directed charges, allowing for longer sentences. As a consequence of the legislation changes since 2011, the Human Rights House in Azerbaijan was ordered to cease its activities in March 2011. NGOs operating in the country were put under investigation or shut down. Bank accounts of NGOs are arbitrarily frozen simply to prevent the concerned NGOs from operating, including those of recently released human rights defenders. The Office of Radio for Europe has been closed and the organization is under investigation. The, uh, the authorities also harass individual journalists working for Maidan TV. The situation of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety, whose leader had to flee the country and will be speaking here today, is emblematic of the repression against human rights defenders and media rights groups. Distinguished members, on 26 September, Azerbaijan held a new constitutional referendum. As we report in our submission to the committee, the amendments prolonged the presidential term and introduced the posts of vice presidents solely by appointment by the president. The Venice Commission recently found that the reform weakens further the parliament and even the judiciary, consolidating the already disproportionate power of the president and making the government even less accountable." End quote. The outcome of the referendum is overshadowed by the events that preceded and accompanied it. The authorities silenced independent voices who criticized the process and showed that they, were ha that they have not abandoned arbitrary detention. We did not hear the Ombuds Office in this period about the, the detentions. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished members, in the current circumstances, due to risks of reprisals, the Human Rights House Foundation agreed with its partners remaining in Azerbaijan not to mention their names in any of our submissions to the committee. We are, however, glad that a few prominent human rights defenders, lawyers and activists were able to come to Geneva for this session and look forward to further interaction with the committee. Thank you.